Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Good morning, and welcome to this service of Holy Communion for St. Mary's Gainford and St. Andrew's Winston. My name is Reverend Sarah Cliff, I am the curate and serve at Barnard Castle and Walton. It is my privilege to be here today to celebrate with you and for you. This is the first Sunday of Lent, a time of penitence, a time of reflection. We say together the prayer of preparation, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all, all desires desire know, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts, hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We come now to our time of penitence, our time of saying sorry, our time to bring to mind the times when we have forgotten God, we have forgotten our fellow neighbour in hurry for lots of reasons. We come now to repair that relationship. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord who is full of compassion and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. And we say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought and word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now the collect, the special prayer for each week, and this is the first Sunday of Lent. Heavenly Father, your Son battled with the powers of darkness and grew closer to you in the desert. Help us to use these days to grow in wisdom and prayer that we may witness your saving love in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll now listen to our first reading, the reading from Psalm 25. The first reading is taken from Psalm 25, reading from verses 1 to 9. 
To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me, for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right, and teaches the humble his way. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Would you please stand for the reading of the Gospel? Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O oh Christ. Would you please be seated? I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In true Gospel of Mark style, in less than 140 words, we have the baptism of Christ, temptation by Satan, and the beginning of Jesus' ministry in Galilee. St. Mark rarely ponders, he rarely dwells. Time is precious, so off we set. Time is in short supply in St. Mark's time. And for those of us who are rather inclined to live life in a St. Mark kind of way, this is not helpful at the beginning of Lent. As children, we may have wish time away, hurrying things up to our next birthday, or to Christmas, or to a holiday. As we grow older, and hopefully a little more wise, we learn to slow down, to relish time, to watch the flowers grow, and often push impending birthdays further back in our minds. But for those of us who are not good at slowing down, or dwelling, or pondering, the church has rather helpfully inserted particular times of the year to help us out, Lent of course being the greatest. In our 40 days of observation, we remember the 40 days that Jesus spent in the wilderness, under the duress of temptation and danger. It is interesting to note that the text says the Spirit drove him out into the wilderness, not led, as in written in Matthew and Luke. There's something here preparing us for Good Friday. The Spirit drove him out to meet Satan head on. Jesus could have resisted, but in a foreshadowing of Good Friday, he did not look for a way out, 
but accepted all that was to follow. And again, in contrast to Matthew and Luke, we get precious little detail of what happened in the wilderness, apart from the mention of Satan, wild beasts and angels. Satan tempted, angels attended, and the wild beasts. Well, in the presence of him who was at creation, who has the power to heal and raise from the dead, who is the beloved of God, the wild beasts would have been to Jesus as terrifying as puppies and kittens. If Jesus can overcome Satan, sin and death, then a couple of boi boisterous wild boar and the odd serpent would not trouble him. For us who are baptised in the name of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I wonder in our own lives, where are our temptations? Where are our fears of the wild and scary? Now in the season of Lent, we can take time to address them head on, address them in prayer and in the reading of scripture, address them in a walk in God's good creation, address them in our giving up of our everyday temptations or our taking up of positive habits and new ways. Christ leads us through whatever comes our way, the scary, the wild, the unknown. When we can be certain of not much else, we can be certain of him who saw the heavens ripped apart at his baptism and who at his death God ripped apart the veil in the temple. At his baptism, Jesus, God spoke the words, You are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. In times of wilderness and isolation, as well as times of joy and abundance, we too must remember that through Christ, we too are God's beloved sons and daughters. In that knowledge, we must respond. This Lent, I will endeavour to take the time to say to myself, just as much as I encourage you, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Amen. Would you please stand as we affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. Let us declare our faith in God. We, we believe, believe in God, God the Father, from, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with the power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you please be seated? We bring now to God our prayers for others as well as for ourselves. Let us pray. God of all creation, in your pattern of things, there is a time for keeping and a time for losing. A time for building up and a time for pulling down. In this holy season of Lent, as we journey with our Lord to the cross, help us to discern in our lives what we must lay down and what we must take up what we must end and what we must begin. Give us grace to lead a disciplined life in glad obedience and with the joy which comes from a closer walk with Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Jesus, in body, mind and soul, you faced every temptation of our common humanity. Throughout this sacred season, help us to lean on you and learn from you. May we do nothing to defile our body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. May we think nothing 
to displace the mind of Christ in us. May we admit nothing into our souls except the goodness of God our Father. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this time of Lent, enable us both to examine our conscience and to inform it. Both to examine our faith and to deepen it. And to watch and pray as Christ would have us do. So that we recognise temptation and spurn it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus Christ, vulnerable and alone, in the desert you faced the force of evil. You withstood temptation. Be with us in our struggles and temptations, that by your strength we may reject the devil in whatever form he comes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus Christ, we are surrounded by illness and by those who, whose life is being affected by the pandemic. We pray for all who have passed through a time of trial. And we pray for those within our own community who need our prayers, especially for Joy and Gillian. Bless us as we move forward to a new beginning. And pray, we pray that you will be with us as we take the road to health and happiness. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. We take time to share with each other the sign of peace. If you're on your own, perhaps wave out of the window and your neighbours may see you. But the peace of the Lord be with you. We come now to our hymn. Thank you. 
God of mercy and compassion, your word calls us home to faith and love. Accept all we offer you this day, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift Amen. them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. For in these forty days you led us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline, we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting and prayer and acts of service, you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. And now we give you thanks because you give us the spirit of discipline that we may triumph over evil and grow in grace. As we prepare to celebrate the Paschal Mystery with mind and heart renewed. So we join with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, Lord by, by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set, set us free. You, you are the Saviour of the world. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your Divine Majesty, renew us by your Spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and, and honour and, and, and glory and power be yours forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine, thine is the kingdom, kingdom the power, power and the glory, for ever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are, are many, we are one, one body, body, because we all share in one bread. bread. 
the body and blood of Christ. Amen. Called moment of silence. Say together our prayer after communion. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God, who from the death of sin raised you to new life, in Christ keep you from falling and set you in the presence of his glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with those you love and care for this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for our communion service. Have a blessed and holy Lent. Amen. Amen.